All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some good news. The SX Core clone is here. So, got this one right here. Uh, this is an original SX Core. I had to pull this one out of my Switch. Um, and we're going to go over some of the things that I've kind of noticed. Uh, in terms of just things on the front, nothing really. Uh, the backs are the same. Uh, in some of the pictures about the clones, uh, there was some text over here. Um, I didn't get that on mine. Um, for the most part, everything looks the same. Uh, you can tell like the soldering on this one's a little bit different than the soldering on this one. Nothing dramatic, nothing crazy. Everything else honestly looks pretty much the same. Um, and then on top of the chip here, you can see the SXT right here. Um, on this one, it looks like it was kind of etched in there. I don't know if you can see it. And there's also, you can also see some of the chip text on there. On this one, you can't see any of the chip text uh, identifying what chip it is. So that's pretty much it for the uh, visual side of things. Um, they are not the same, so the, um, in terms of the way they run, this runs SXOS, and of course, probably if you're watching this video, you know that, uh, that isn't really supported anymore, and, um, this one runs, I think, uh, SpaceX, Spacecraft, uh, NX, which I'm not really familiar with, but, uh, we're gonna figure it out. I've gotten, I've already gotten it to run, but, um, it's flashed with it. It will only work with atmosphere. It doesn't work with, uh, SXOS. So you don't have to do any of the things like, uh, get the license and do all that crazy stuff. So this is pretty much just install and put your bail your, uh, payload.bin and it'll boot that up. So I'm going to put this back in my switch and we are going to do a little bit of comparison. So I did want to mention that when you get it, um, it comes with this V2 adapter, just like the SX Core did. However, there is not a V1 adapter. So not sure if it works with the V1, but we're going to find out. So of course it comes with this little thing again. No fancy box, just comes in a bag. And all right, so let's get them put in. So when you had the SX Core installed, um, if you didn't have an SD card with the boot dot dat, when you turned it on, you would get pretty much the screen, the boot dot dat saying that it needs this file on the SD card in order to work. So this is an SX OS thing uh, with the other one. Uh, it usually takes a little longer to boot, I've noticed, but this is the screen that you're going to get this time. So you get this screen, you know, you have a clone, you get this one, you know that you have SX OS. All right. So I'm going to get the OS system on there and we can test comparison. This is again, is a V1. This is a V2. So there may be some little variables that may be different, um, in terms of booting up into their respective OS. So I'm going to put atmosphere on this one. And on this one, it's going to boot up into SX OS. So, so right now, I'm just going to test the time that it takes to boot up. This is the SX core. This is the clone. Uh, it's not going to be a crazy specific, but just to kind of give you a ballpark. So, all right, and here we go.
So as you can see, it took just over a minute to get that loaded up. Um, <clears throat> pretty much if this was flashed with the uh, spacecraft, then it would pretty much loan the same um, for the most part, to my understanding. Um, it's just not as fast. So SX Core, of course, is going to be... This has actual SX OS actually running on it. So it's going to boot up faster. But just to give you just a kind of time frame of what you'd be looking at. A minute, it's really not that long in reality. So um, just wanted to show that. And the last thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take the SX uh, clone and put it into my switch because it is a V1 and um, since it only comes with a V2 bracket uh, or little adapter I'm gonna see if it actually works on a V1 because um, there are some people who may have the adapters and they want it on a V1 so that'll still be an option for them so so now uh, we have the SX clone in the V1 to test it out and see if it works. Uh, I tried it a couple times already. Uh, without the SX, uh, sorry, without the SD card, um, I did not get the um, NX spacecraft logo. Uh, I'm pretty much saying that there's no SD installed. Um, so I didn't get that. However, uh, let's see if it glitches. We got green. There we go. So, uh, that's because I got the SD card in there. And this isn't the SD card for this switch, so. If I go into system, you can see that I am on atmosphere. So it does work on the V1. Um, only problem is that they, they do not provide the, uh, the adapter for it. Uh, most likely, if you have a V1, there's much cheaper options, so there really wouldn't be a point to getting uh, this, especially because you're going to be using Atmosphere with a trinket or something like that anyway. So we can confirm that it works with the V1, um, but it's kind of not worth it, honestly. So uh, pretty much that's the few tests that I thought of. Um, I didn't want to make a tutorial on how to do anything because... Uh, videos get taken down for things like that and I've already had a video taken down so I didn't want to do that again um, I'm going to let's talk about the price so the original SX core and light I'm not a hundred percent what they were I think they were like 60 somewhere between 60 and 80 dollars and as soon as the lawsuit started happening um, all the U.S. retailers, um, they all quickly stopped selling them or they got their sites shut down. Um, so then people had to go to other sites uh, outside of the U.S. and have their chips sent from there. Um, a lot of people did that for a while until the factories pretty much were told to stop selling them. Um, so now that we have these clones, they are not cheap. Um, I believe for the SX Core uh, clone, I paid about $168 US. Um, if you include shipping, it's a little over $171. Um, so it's not cheap. In terms of price wise, is it worth it? Is it not? Uh, that's for you to decide. Uh, I just wanted to get one to uh, show everyone what's what's available, um, that it's out to kind of go through it a little bit. Now, there also is a clone for the Switch Lite. Now, this was never really announced or anything. I haven't seen any pictures of it. 
but it was on the site, so I will be getting a Switch Lite, and I will be doing a video on that as well. Uh, so I don't have an SX Core, uh, sorry, an XS uh, Lite in order to pull out um, and compare because these, the actual main board, it's not like this one where it uh, attaches to some stuff. Um, so I will not have one to be, to pull out. Um, so I'll just show this one when I do that video. If you would be interested uh, in that video, uh, like and subscribe, share, uh, thumbs up. Uh, subscribing helps a long way. Uh, so I will be putting out more videos. Again, I'm not doing a tutorial because I'm not trying to get things shut down. Uh, but I do want to bring out pretty much the news to you guys on that. And plus, I do have some pretty cool projects coming up. Uh, I want to start making more videos on those. Pretty much not. They're game related, but they aren't specific to, like, say, the Nintendo Switch or something like that. Some of the older consoles and things like that. Uh, things that I have not seen before. So I think I will be the first person to be doing this. So uh, if you're interested in cool stuff, you like electronics, you like games, you like making new things, um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.